Hello Internet. In this video, we are going to build the Open ePaperlink Access Point Kit. I will be showing everything quite fast. You can always pause the video or play it in slow motion. Besides the Access Point Kit, you will need a good soldering iron with a fine tip, resin core tin, tweezers, and pliers, and maybe a screwdriver. Make sure you have everything before you start. If you don't have any previous experience with soldering, I recommend trying some other projects first. Let's have a look at the kit and identify all components. We have a 3D printed case. We have the Vimos S2 Mini. We have a flex PCB. We have the segmented display, a NeoPixel LED, a lens for the LED and a tiny capacitor. We're going to open the segmented display first. Start by trying to open the case at this side and work your way around it. You don't need this anymore. Here you can see the contacts we need to connect to the PCB later on. But first we move to battery contact using the pliers. Just rip it off. Now take a good look at the PCB, as there are many ways to place the components on it in the wrong way. You don't want to solder the ESP32 on the wrong side or flipped or turned 180 degrees. We're going to solder the ESP on the PCB. Take a good look at the white marks for orientation. Make sure you exactly align the holes. And tack the first pin with a bit of tin. You really only need to touch them for a very short time. At this stage you can still make corrections. Everything okay? We can now solder all the pins. The other side, you see that the tin reached all the pads. Next, we place the new pixel at this side. Take good care of the diagonal edge to ensure the orientation is correct. Back to the other side. You're placing a capacitor. It's best to pre thin one pad and then add a capacitor and thin the other pad. That's it. After placing the capacitor, don't forget, like I did in the first version of this video, to set the jumper pads. Place a small blob of solder on the pads marked VCC. Finally, we get the segmented display. We place this here. And lightly touch all the pads. Thank you. 
and we are done. The lens will fit the NeoPixel. Now it's time to put the software on the ESP32. For that we use the website openepaperlink.de. I connect the ESP32 via USB. Now to be able to start flashing, I press the reset button, press GPIO 0, let go of the reset button and let go of GPIO 0. Now the chip is in download mode. We start the flashing by choosing install, the mini IP, install, we have he has found the ESP32, connect, install, open ePayPal link. Yes, I want this. Installation complete. Logs and console, now we see the Result. The segmented tag is recognized automatically and the firmware is uploaded to the tag. We are done. Now we flashed the ESP32. We can find its network. You use your phone to, found, to find the open ePaper link access point, the Wi Fi and connect to it. Then you go to 192.4.1 with your phone normally. Configure Wi-Fi. Then you find the network you want to use. Press save. And then it logs in to the network. Now, after flashing, wait for a long time because the tag needs to be flashed. So the ESP32 will flash the tag. Uh, you don't get any feedback for it, uh, but just be patient, wait five minutes or so, and then power cycle the tag. And then it boots. It shows the IP address. And it starts running. So if I go to the IP address, you see already see some tags connecting, and that are the tags from another access point. They communicate with each other automatically. This segmented tag is my access point. If I now choose to see the current date, I press save, then I see the date, Thursday. So the access point is working. Uh, I disconnect the access point because we still need to put it in the case. No, take care. This will fit here. This will fit here. So the flex PCB is bent a bit. This will go on top. Then the lens will nicely show up. Um, and you need a bit of glue put there and on the other side there to hold it together. 
If you apply to the glue, use a rubber band to temporarily hold it in place while the glue cures. And we have built an access point. Enjoy the Open ePaper Link project!